Hi and welcome here on pianocini.com, the wine show. And I'm, yeah, really proud, really happy to be here in this special winery. I'm here, um, yeah, in Grata Iops, in, in, in the Pirat. I'm in Spain. I'm um, hosting today, um, yeah, the winery. What is the name of the winery? It's so, so difficult to, to pronounce. <laughs> well, it is named Calballet. Calballet, yeah. Welcome to, 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 my, to my wine show. Uh, next to me is uh, Marc Ribol Sanz, right? Okay, right. Welcome to our winery, Calballet. Yeah. Uh, an historical uh, house here in Greta Lopes. Uh, so it's beautiful and uh, small uh, winery. Yeah, really, really small winery. Actually, it's a little bit of hall, but um, anyway, um, I, I visit uh, you, yeah, we recorded another interview two years ago. Mm -hmm. this, um, but I think, um, well, you changed the labels, uh, we will see later. Uh, you've changed a lot. Yeah, of, uh, because before the name was Closer by Led. Okay. But now it's, um, yeah. Well, we started in 2000 making our uh, brand or uh, wine name at Closer by Led as the selection of the, the best vineyards, looking to do a, a, an elegant blend to show what's the priority. Yeah. And uh, since 2009, we changed it to, uh, to the philosophy, to the village wines. Yeah. So, uh, did you? Yeah, expand your, your, your um, let's say, your, your binary or is still really small? I mean, how many hectares do you well, have Well, we have about uh, 10 hectares. So. Uh, so, and the direct farmer who grows the, the, the vines. And uh, so, it's, uh, we are not by planning. The <laughs> yes, I am uh, yeah. Yeah, working really hard yeah, and, yeah. <laughs> below the sun. So. The sun in, in February is so intense. Now in March also very intense. So. Uh, Mark, when you um, when I would ask you um, what, what's the special, what's so special about Priorat um, for you personally? What, what is it? It's, it's just the terraces. The, is it the soil? What, what well, is it? What's so special? Priorat is, is is like a blend of different special things. Yeah. Because uh, very important is terroir. Yeah. Is the cheese, the the, the licorella, licorella, we, we said. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, But then it's very important the the, the human uh, side. Yeah. The human aspect. Uh, yeah. the, the human aspect exactly is is uh, really important because is uh, is the land who. Uh, uh, form the, the the persons, yeah, and the person is influentiating uh, the on, wines, on, uh? the, on the land. So on it's, the lens, it's, uh, yeah. it's 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 these uh, both uh, sites are really important in Priorat. Yeah, I'm really curious to, to taste the, the new yeah, let's say the new labels, the new the new wines. Actually, we, we are corresponded a lot via email mm -hmm. uh, since I've uh, met you the first time here, and um, yeah, I think uh, yeah. Let's do it. Okay, ready. So here it is. The first one is, um, yeah, Escaña Bella. Please explain once again, what is right. Escaña Bella? What is <laughs> the meaning? It's maybe the, the, the finest uh, grape because it's a very strange one. Uh, it is an historical grape. And in this grape, grape yeah. white grape. Yeah. Here in Priorat, you know, Priorat is uh, known mainly uh, for the reds, but there are some very nice and special whites. And this is uh, one of these very special. Uh, it is named uh, Greta Lopes. Yeah. It's a village wine. It's a village, uh, okay. So it is from the village Greta Lopes. The 100% so, Greta Lopes, huh? This yes, it's, uh, it must to be Greta Lopes, so the, the, the grapes. And then this grape is uh, this very old uh, variety. And today there are no more vines that uh, we own and we farm. So uh, is the only wine like this here in Pirat and maybe in the world, we, we don't know about uh, this grape in other Never sites. heard about it before, yeah? From, never exactly. heard it in Piemont, in exactly. Tuscany, or and in Germany. we are able to do about 600 bottles of this wine. So it's very, very exclusive and very limited. So, and then the, the funnest history is the, the name of this, uh, this grape. Scagnabella is the, the Catalan name for this grape and uh, literally means uh, chokes the lady. Okay, something so like, like uh, so old lady strangler. Okay, okay. <laughs> so like a fan. And some people said, well, this is the uh, chokes the, uh, the modern law. 
<laughs> okay. Well, uh, Mark, uh, actually for the, the fermentation or the, the winemaking, is there something special? Um, okay, well, I mean, we are trying to preserve uh, um, the reason uh, why... Uh, it's different. Well, it's exactly, it's completely different than any other whites. But the reason uh, for the name is because the, the, the grape has a very thick skin yeah. and with a very high acidity. Yeah. Yeah. We are trying to preserve in the wine this acidity that is a bit uh, unexpected uh, in Gratelop's uh, village with uh, the, the hot, the warm uh, weather we have. Okay. So it works very well. Uh, so the fermentation is uh, fermented uh, the 50% in, in steel mm -hmm. and the 50% fermented in, in new French uh, oak. Uh, and then uh, we are giving to the 50% an aging, uh, very short aging, about three months in, yeah. in this uh, barrel, in this French oak. And then we uh, give to the total uh, proportion uh, an aging on the leaves, okay. just to win the, the roundness and, yeah, and to, the sweetness, to, add complexity, to balance yeah. the, yeah. the acidity and, and this. But actually there is uh, absolutely there is a yeah, development, I remember the, the 07, yeah? Yeah. but this one is like, um, yeah, really more has, is fresh, fresher, I could say, mm -hmm. and more has more like, um, notes of uh, nectarines, a little bit of limes, of, of mm -hmm. course, combined mm -hmm. with some uh, what do you what do you get? I, I mean, I get some. Uh, no, it has some uh, it's something really, uh, citric, yeah. uh, citric, uh, citrical, and and then it, it has some uh, like pineapple maybe or yeah, yeah. Uh, and including some, this kind of uh, tropical uh, beat. <laughs> Which you didn't have before, actually. Uh, this means you reduce the oak. Well, yes, yeah. we fermented uh, all the wine in in, in barrels and uh, giving uh, an aging. Uh, for a few months, so we have reduced. Uh, just, uh, just looking for to show a, a better uh, mineral or character from the, the terroir. Okay, I appreciate it. I mean, it's um, it's it's a great nose, really uh, fragrant. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, let's taste it. It's like okay. cool. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and it's um, totally different on the palate. I like it. It's like um, really vibrant. You can feel here. It's fresh. It's not. Absolutely. It's fresh. not like a sick one. It's really um, good shape. Yeah. It's like um, really balanced uh, from the acidity uh, side. It's like um, yeah, really refreshing. It's like complex. You get a creamy mouse feel. Mm -hmm. uh, without being fat. Really, really. Pff, yeah. Nice wine, really intense on the palate, lingers good. Compliments, I think it's a good evolution, really, honestly. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we are happy with it. This is the, the, the first vintage with this new uh, wine making, we yeah. can say, and we are happy preserving more this uh, freshness, and, but it is rich, it, is, uh, it has the, the character of a, a priorat wine, that is, it, is, uh, it has this good uh, mouth, but uh, okay. finally with this crispy uh, freshness, yeah, good choice. So the next wine is um, yeah, 2010 Artai. Um, this is a red one, and uh, Artai is the name of your son. Uh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, really beautiful boy, well, I mentioned it before. But, but what's the concept about um, Artai? It's also Vida Villa. Also Vida Villa. Uh, yeah, Vida Villa. We have changed all the range of the wines. Vida Villa. Vida Villa. I always say Vida Villa, but Vida wine Villa. from the, uh, yeah, the from village. Yeah, from the village. Yeah. Yes, this is the this new uh, category into the pre-red appellation. Okay. And uh, it ensures the best quality in the wines and uh, unique yeah. uh, origin. Yeah, so, uniqueness. Yeah. yeah. Uh, bigger personality. So when um, what is um, yeah it's. Carniena is Garnacha. Yeah. Is it Syrah? What is it? Well, I mean, what, what are the grapes behind it? Well, the, the, the village wine, it must be uh, mainly the uh, original grapes from uh, Priorat. Carniena and Garnacha. Okay. So it's, it's uh, the, the most important proportion and it, it could be about 75%. So behind it... You say it uh, could be, but... Do you remember what is it exactly, or more or less? I don't remember exactly, 74, 74 maybe, or okay. I, I don't know exactly now. Carignana. It's uh, not the, 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 the Carignana uh, plus Garnacha. Okay. So uh, then there are uh, uh, some proportion of Cabernet Sauvignon and a small 
Merlot and Syrah, but we believe in, in the Carignana and Garnacha. Uh, yeah, we will see later when the, when the, the big boys yeah, coming. You will see. <laughs> okay. Well, actually, um, I remember that uh, your, the, um, your f yeah, what can I say? The, uh, two years ago it was the, mm -hmm. your, your first red wine or your, the most petit but late. You exactly, don't produce yeah. it anymore. No. But it was really, really, yeah, for. for yeah, let's say good value. It was mm -hmm. a um, yeah, nice pre-rat, small mm -hmm. pre-rat for good money. It yeah. was the idea uh, to have the, this uh, entry level to discover the pre-rat wines. Yeah. So uh, we produced this petite. It, it uh, means the small, uh, the smaller wine in the winery. So uh, we decided uh, that uh, now our son is uh, the small, uh, the smaller in the, in the in the family. So we changed the, the name to this. Wine. But okay. we have improved it with. Uh... Good decision once again, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, well, let's check out the wine. The color is like it's a deep, uh, yeah, garnet red. It's like mm -hmm. uh, beautiful color, and uh, the nose is like, yeah, great. It's not the jammy one. It's like really, uh, it's like a mixture of red and dark cherries. It's like. I get some, um, also some uh, like sanguine, like, um, yeah, I say, uh, um, arancia di sangue, sangue di arancia. Huh? <laughs> no, and, and oh, the idea wait. for this wine is to get a pre red wine, a Gretelops wine, you know, Gretelops, it must be ripe, around, uh, full. But the idea is to get the, a Gretelops uh, wine, but at the same time with enough freshness. Mm. to be more diet, more easy drinking, yeah. finally. Well, I know it's also a little bit, uh, you get some, some spices here, really, really nice. Of course, uh, it's an aged uh, wine, but uh, we are Great. giving a soft aging yeah. to preserve the, the fruit. Well, I really the appreciate the fruit. It's of course, fruit. this is yeah. the idea. Okay, let's taste it. Great stuff, really. Uh, I love Artai. It's my. It's like uh, I like the. It's like like the juice. Huh? Yeah. It's like uh, it's a it's a nice fruit. It's like um, yeah. It's 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 a dense fruit. It's yeah. It's a dense fruit. The, I like the acidity. I like the tannins. Mm -hmm. Really approachable wine. Um, course, really harmonious and uh, pff, it's like um, really yeah. Some elegant yeah wine. It's my. I mean. Artai, this is 010. This is the first yeah, vintage, yeah? It's the second vintage second. with this label. Okay. <clears throat> but um, Mark, compliments. This wine is really yeah, outstanding. Thank you. We are very happy with it. Great. We hope next year we will repeat. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. But this is really, uh, really, I can really recommend. This is on point. 